The sea carried up a thick, fiery breath. It seemed to me as if the sky split open from one end to the other to rain down fire. My whole being tensed and I squeezed my hand around the revolver. The trigger gave. I felt the smooth underside of the butt. And there in that noise, sharp and deafening at the same time, is where it all started. I shook off the sweat and sun. I knew that I had shattered the harmony of the day, the exceptional silence of a beach where I had been happy. Then I fired four more times at the motionless body where the bullets lodged without leaving a trace. And it was like knocking four quick times on the door of unhappiness. So why do you think Merceau shot the Arab? Okay, well I guess I'll tell you why I think he did it. I think I'll have a whiskey and ginger, but uh, make it good. It's a celebratory drink. Ooh, and um, what, may I ask, are we celebrating? 30 times around the sun. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, her ladyship. You are welcome, kind sir. And that one's on me, okay? <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're very strange. <laughs> what time is it? Um, it's 12.30, why? Oh, fuck. Ugh, I have to get up really early. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing tomorrow? I think I'm completely free, why? Good, okay. So, my friends are renting this cabin at um, Battleground Lake, have you ever heard of that? No. No? All right, well, it's this lake, and it's, I don't know, there was some like epic battle. <laughs> I don't really know the details behind it, anyway. But um, they're renting a cabin, and it's gonna be very cute, and like romantic, and the weather's supposed to be beautiful, and I'm gonna be the third wheel, again, story of my motherfucking life, unless you come with me. Oh, well, um, what time are you leaving? Between probably nine and 10. Well, could I let you know tomorrow before then? Yeah, sure. Well, could I get your number? Yes.
Hey, Molly? It's Rick from last night. Is... is that invitation still good? So you haven't left yet? Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, I'll be ready. You wanna write down my address? How's it going? Uh, Did you guys we, find it okay? We managed to make it unscathed. How are you? I'm all right. A little parts. It almost beer o'clock, bro. Thanks, Joe. Yes, I could use a beer, please. I have to show you this cabinet. It is so cute, and I found it online for practically nothing. We'll see it. Well, here it is. It's not much, but it's cozy. Hope you're not uh, claustrophobic. Ugh. No need to worry about me, man. I'm not in this fight alone. <sighs> Besides, if you really were concerned, we could always switch rooms. I'm sure you have a larger bed. <laughs> Drink? Check. So... There's something I've been dying to talk about, but I haven't been able to until now. What is it? Oh. So how do you know Molly? Well, when I go out on the town and order my drinks, she brings them to me. Oh, so you, uh, you frequent her establishment? I wouldn't say I frequent it. I go there occasionally. And how do you know Molly? Met her when I started dating Suzanne. Went to high school together. When was that? When did they go to high school? No. When did you start dating Suzanne? Oh, uh, we've been dating for a few years. We, uh, we just got engaged six weeks ago. Wow. Congratulations. Isn't the house cute? It's really adorable. Don't you love it, Rick? <laughs> if I loved it anymore, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> Lunch almost ready, Joe. I'm starving. Yeah. Why don't you get everybody a beer while I cut these sandwiches? Sure. Checkmate. No, 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 no. Wait. Shit, I thought you said you didn't play much. Yeah. Didn't take you that long to beat me. Well, maybe I got lucky. You know, sometimes luck has something to do with it. 
Or maybe Rick scored because he's better than you. You don't score in chess, Sue. Why don't you go get yourself a beer? I'm not thirsty. Well, I am tired. Binge drinking after road trips makes me really sleepy. Is anyone else tired? Yeah, yeah, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Did you mention making a fire later, Joe? Yeah, maybe later, before dinner. Cool, well, will you wake us up if we're still sleeping? Will do. Don't you think it's weird that they're already fucking? I mean, didn't you tell me they just met? I think she's seen him at the bar before. We just hadn't really had a full conversation until last night. What does it matter? She's our friend. Why aren't you happy for her? I mean, I guess I am, but he's not really her type. Isn't he... How old is he? Isn't he too old for her? He's 30. That's what, six years older than Molly? Big fucking deal. Wait. How'd you know he was 30? We could, Molly told me. Oh. I don't know. Not now, Joe. Later. What are you looking at? You? You're easy to look at. Take your picture then, it'll last longer. If you think I'm attractive, that is. Sexual attraction is a lie. What do you mean? Well, I mean, a praying mantis might be totally weird looking to us, but to another praying mantis, it might be totally sexy. <laughs> you see, our brain chooses people it wants us to mate with. And then it paints those people sexy. Oh. Is your brain painting me sexy? It is. So your brain wants to reproduce with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Well, I mean, yeah. But, you know, a part of it does. Part of it? So you don't want to get me pregnant then? <laughs> I hadn't intended on it, but the night is young, see? <laughs> I'm going for a boat ride. Would you like to join me? Um, I think I'm just sleep if that's cool. Sure. What are you doing here? Look, Suzanne, I met Molly at the bar. She invited me to come. She said two of her friends were coming. She didn't mention any names. I didn't ask any questions. I mean, do you think that I'm enjoying this any more than you are? From the sound of things earlier, I'd say you're enjoying yourself a lot. That's rich. Now you're jealous? It's been like two months. No, I'm not fucking jealous. As a matter of fact, Joe keeps me way more satisfied than you ever did. Well, I wish you would have mentioned that two months ago. 
Then I would have never taken you home with me. You failed to mention having a boyfriend. Oh, right, like you can never keep it in your pants. <laughs> that would mean something if it weren't coming from you. I was the single one at the time, remember? Oh, right, because you're always gonna be single, remember? You and Jean-Paul Sartre. Jean-Paul Sartre. I don't fucking care how you pronounce his name. Okay, we're gonna go back to pretending we don't know each other because it'll be way less traumatic and complicated that way. Oh, okay, so we'll just go back to what I've been doing this entire time before you approached me with this meaningless conversation. You guys doing okay? Yeah, baby, we're fine. We're just having a conversation about John Paul Sartre. Big here likes him and I think he fucking sucks. Who's John Paul? John Paul Sartre, he's a playwright and a philosopher. Huh. So why don't you like him, Sue? Please don't call me Sue. You know much I fucking hate that. Whatever, I'm going inside. I'm cold. Yeah, I should probably take a shower before dinner. Actually, Sue, why don't you go take care of the vegetables that I left on the stove? And Rick, wanna go chop some firewood with me? Fine. Sure. Great. Wait right there, Rick. I'll be right back. Ready, Rick? Yeah. After you, buddy. So you must feel pretty passionately about this John Paul Sartre character. What do you mean? I mean, you and Sue are having a pretty heated argument. Yeah, I'm a huge follower of his work. Why don't you tell me what you two were really talking about? That is what we were talking about, I swear. How well do you two really know each other? Look, Joe, I don't want any trouble. Where are the boys? Outside. Did you tell them yet? No, not yet. What are they doing anyway? Getting wood for the fire, I think. What else are they good for besides getting wood? Yeah! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it right now and tell me how well you two know each other. I heard some things. Now stop bullshitting me. Okay, Joe, I'll tell you everything. Hey. Could I uh, bum a cigarette? I'm out. Yeah, they're um, upstairs in my bag. Sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nothing stopping you, Brosif. All right, I met Suzanne through a mutual acquaintance. We had a few drinks at a friend's house, and then... A and then... Look, Joe. And then... And then she came home with me.
Susie. You got some explaining to do. Joe! Uh Boy. 